grand rising hola a todos today we are making candles whoop, whoop. in the past couple months i have been working on starting my manifestation candle company and so hopefully this weekend is going to be the start of that so today i'm going to be making a bunch of candles and um, taking photos and then putting them up on my Etsy shop. I do also have some new fragrance oils too. I definitely going to be making some more candles, but these are going to be the ones that I'm just going to put on my Etsy just to get started and then eventually, of course, adding more product as I go. What a cute little setup. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of my candle stuff and kind of get this little workstation going on. So, yeah. So the candle making station is all ready. These twinkly lights are so cute. First drawer, it's gonna be all my candle supplies. And then the second drawer was a lot of my spiritual stuff and a letter I have to my friend that I have yet to send. So now that we are all ready to go, I'm gonna get ready and start creating. I've just got here my wax and um, some jars that I'm going to use. So I'm going to be going ahead and making probably, hopefully, four today. I do have to go ahead and wash these. My mom was super, super awesome and ended up finding these awesome candle jars. And she ended up giving me a bunch. So while I am um, waiting for my fragrance oils to arrive, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my essential oil supply. <laughs> I just want to really quickly say that essential oils are not meant to be used in candle making. Please use fragrance oils and avoid the possibility of someone getting hurt and suing you. When the fragrance oils do arrive, I'll go ahead and test some of the fragrance oils before I officially make some candles to sell. So when you get new wax or new fragrance oil, you always have to kind of do a couple of test runs because every different type of wax is going to have a different loading um, weight. Basically, different waxes have uh, different amounts of fragrance oil they can mix in with before the fragrance oils is too much and it starts to actually separate when you burn the candle so because wax different waxes have different payloads when i do get a new type of wax i'm gonna have to go ahead and do a practice one Ooh, maybe we can like <laughs> so next time i do get <laughs> That being said, when I do get the fragrance oils, I'll go ahead and do a trial candle to see what the um, wax and the fragrance oil combination is going to be hitting for. And then when I do get new wax, again, I'll do the same thing. Right now, I can put a really, a pretty decent amount of fragrance oil into my candles so that I get the maximum aroma without having the separation of the fragrance oils and the candle wax in the jars because that's not cute and we want it to be looking as beautiful as possible being said with Gigi still tweaking <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get started with these first couple candles I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably take them outside or just open up some windows inside so that i can go ahead and either use my sage or palo santo um, so i can go ahead and cleanse them energetically and then i'll go ahead 
and put in the intention for um, the candle. So each of the manifestation candles have a different purpose. So they'll be imbued with that different intention. Um, so, you know, if it's a uh, Yoni healing one, then it would be blessed with the intention to um, bring the user closer to their Yoni, closer to their divine feminine. If it's for, you know, prosperity and abundance, then it would be imbued with prosperity and abundance and attracting that. understand numerology you know that it is 09222 my life path is number nine and 222 means don't worry and today is an especially good day not to worry because I am looking at offices today right there so I'm gonna hope I'm trying to stay up the block more because there's construction going on literally all fucking over Lancaster right now but anyway, today, like I said, is a super special day because I'm looking for a studio. Um, I'm looking for a studio to go ahead and put my candle in spiritual goods business as well as my yoga stuff. Um, yeah, it'll be a really big step. I don't know if we're going to go with it or not, but just the fact that I'm even looking at this at 22, I just realized that 222 two, two, and I'm 22. Wow. The universe works in mysterious ways, but I'm super excited. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. Okay, so the tour is over. Oh, I got something on mine. That sucks. Anyway, the tour is over. So I figure why not go through the pros and cons, right? You have a fuzzy in your hair. <laughs> so there was three suites we saw and they were all really nice. I loved the like historic hardwood floors. Your girl grew up on HGTV, so. <laughs> so I really like the, the floors. I like the decoration. It's a very like cool, modern, has lots of like graffiti and artwork everywhere. So that was really nice. I think my one worry was that it was a historic home building. So, you know, being that I want an office to be able to make my candles and keep all my candle supplies there, um, they had told us that there was someone who was just there and had to leave because they were a nail salon and the smell was just too much. So they had to part ways. And so he was saying that, um, he as in the, the person we were touring with was saying that the preference would be more so that we wouldn't bring our smell good stuff which to me is kind of like a big drawback. Um, let me be a good person and put on my seatbelt. Just not being able to do candles or even like bath bombs or anything like that is a really big drawback because yes I do want a space where I can have like my office and not have it be at home and just have the separation of work and home. Um, but the big the main reason was that we can't or i mean it's more there is it's more, it's more convenient to be able to have our candles in the same space as our office um because i can't do candles at my house and we can do candles at his house but um it's just uncomfortable it's a townhouse there's lots of floors so you know going all the way down to the kitchen to come all the way upstairs or then do we get a hot plate upstairs and risk like the power tripping because there's too many like things like too many electronics taking power at the same time so although the office is really really cool i don't think it's for us because the main reason we want an office is unavailable there but I'm super glad we went anyway just to see like what it's like to be in the collaborative space uh, especially like if we do choose to move to Bali and we are living in like a villa or a house or like a hostel that has um 
those communal work areas that would be really cool to kind of like get a glimpse of what it's like also there's some like there's stuff like that in japan too so those are my thoughts what are your thoughts if it comes down to it we can put candles in containers to like the storage bin yeah i was also like they it wasn't like they were saying we can't have the candles there they were totally fine with us like having our candles on display and all of our stuff on display and having people come in and see them and like you know people could come in and like buy from us or whatever um but i i, I was like is it really what it's making because they're like we could put lids on each other that's not an issue Yeah, no, that doesn't put us in a better position than what we are now because we are also currently looking for a way to upgrade our system because right now, max, I can make like two four ounce candles. So once we get into bigger candles that are like eight ounce, um, I, you know, that just, it's not, it's not feasible and it's not a long term solution because I have like a small little picture. So, um, yeah, we're looking to upgrade and it's like, how, like, how are we going to put a lid on that? how like that wouldn't be putting us in a better position other than we have space. yeah it's an upgraded space it's the chance to network with people and also it would give us a business address which means that it would give us another layer of privacy right so um that would be the address that we would use for our llc and um yeah i just don't want my house address to be my llc my business address um so it would be nice to have that separation. So really all it is, is just an upgraded space. But for all of that, why not just us get another apartment? If we're gonna be paying three something or four something for a really nice office, why not just get another apartment where there's an extra room? I don't see this as a fail at all. Like I thought it was really great to just see what this city has to offer and of course we're gonna keep looking another reason why i was really attracted to that space is because it's so cheap like there were other suites and stuff that are available in the city but they're like 600 and plus and i don't think we would still either be able to make the candles or um like they're farther from the city like this is smack dab in the city which is so awesome because awesome man That is true. I don't drive, so I wasn't really worried about that. There is fucking construction all over this damned city. So it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult. But oh, the way and it takes time. Yeah. Like, so I'm yeah, I'm really glad we went, but it does not look like it's the one. But it's okay. We're gonna keep looking and I am so confident that so the character. F. I'm right back to the mysticism. I am so confident that the fact that we even put in effort today to go out into the world and see what it has to offer, even if it's something we're not going to go through, I have no doubt that that effort that we put in is going to come back to us. And we will find a place or we will find a permit. Whatever it looks like, we're going to be fine and it's going to work out. <laughs> Bye!